Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Mark Collins CR42. I've been neglecting the Italian tree and as I mentioned in a video, what was that, yesterday? Um, I sort of, I got through biplanes as quickly as I could, so it's, and that's not hard to do, they're the first planes you get in the game, but you know, I think it'd be fun to take out a biplane and just see how they fly. <clears throat> So that's exactly what I did last night, and here I'm bringing you the fruits of my endeavors. And I just gotta say, getting back into biplanes was a lot of fun. Uh, they move a little more slowly, but the CR-42 is quite zippy for a biplane. And all in all, it's just a more leisureful, more, more joyful experience in the sky. It harkens back to a simpler time. So we're taking out the tracer rounds because the Breda Safat 50 cals that are equipped on the CR-42 run best with the APIT rounds. I tried stealth, but that didn't turn out so well for me. Not even going to show that match. <laughs> so we've instantly teleported to high altitude and cut out the climbing for you guys. And yes, we are climbing in this biplane. It doesn't perform best at this altitude, but often people do not climb in this rank, and that can be a mistake, because even if your engine isn't running as hard as it could, you still really benefit from being above your enemy. And this guy is above me, but we're gonna try and get some shots into him anyway. And if we can get him to maneuver, then that gives us a serious advantage because we have more surface area than he does. So we're stalling out here, but a stall is a regular maneuver in a biplane. It's no big deal. And now we're on his tail. And let's see if, if he just flies straight and stays at altitude, he'll be fine. But he is dropping altitude, so maybe we can get some shots at him here. And this is just as much practice with the Breda Safat 50 cals as it is trying to get a kill here. At least that's my excuse for wasting all that ammunition. Oh, and he does have a rear gunner, so <laughs> some defensive flying for you there. And because we're in a biplane, even machine guns are dangerous to us. This airframe is not reinforced in any way and uh, even a few hits can take us down so mobility is our friend here and that's something that biplanes can teach you that will last you for the rest of the game because in airplanes even if your plane is more durable than others a la B-25 your best bet is just to not get hit so I'll see if I can share some tips with you guys but I'm not the most skilled player in the game, even if War Thunder says I'm in the top 3%, I don't feel that way. <laughs> and uh, speaking of skill, my pilot skills are practically um, stock because, oh and he's pulling a scissors so we pull up and around. That is a barrel roll. Uh, and we managed to take him down. So we pulled a, a modified barrel roll there, which he was pulling a scissors, which is he's going left and right. So he rolls to the side, pulls away, rolls to the other side, pulls that way. But we just pulled up and then we're able to drop right down on top of him. And I didn't even need to look at him. I assumed where he was going to be. And here we go pulling the same maneuver, high barrel roll sort of a modified yo-yo and I'm trying to decide whether I want to continue the roll or pull around to the other side and eventually I do. I think I wasted some energy there so uh, next time when you're doing that kind of maneuver just continue your loop. Oh but a few good hits fireballs him and good so that was exciting and you see that even those few maneuvers that we pulled, and I think we played with uh, throttling back a little bit there too, has dropped our airspeed down to almost nothing. Well, almost nothing in terms of 
other planes in the game, but biplanes perform just fine at low speed and low altitude. Uh, the thing is, now I'm in, I'm in the shark tank. <laughs> this is the altitude where everybody ends up by this point in the game, so it's much more likely that I'm going to end up with somebody on my tail. But I'm not going to let that bother me. So uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? I'm going to do some ground striking now. And uh, how has your day been? Nice to see you again. Um, I just noticed that the Savage Bros have uh, found me in War Thunder. So that's exciting. Um, Elijah, hi. <laughs> the, the Savage Bros share their YouTube account. So they're actual real life brothers, um, and they're friends of mine. I, I love their whole family. I love your whole family, man. And uh, now YouTube is like our social network. <laughs> That's how we can stay in touch. So look forward to seeing you in War Thunder. I, I know I keep seeing you invite me to a squad, but uh, I... I haven't been playing as much War Thunder as I used to, and I often have to stop playing to to do adult things, so I really want to squad up with you and play some games, but uh, if you see me, like, even when it says I'm in the game and I'm not actually there, well, that's that's me doing dad stuff, or I'll, I'll log into the game client to make a video and I'll just leave it running for hours while I'm editing and things, and then I'll, I'll pull up some screenshots. I want to make a video. And uh, I could talk about how you want to attack these M8s from the top where they have literally no armor. M8 being an open topped self propelled gun tank destroyer kind of deal. Neat vehicle by the way, but uh, we're making it into a fine vehicle. Breaking it into fine pieces that is. And uh, I wanted to make some pasta puns while I was doing this, but eh, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it today. I guess I'm a little tired. And I'm feeling sentimental, so I just wanted to talk about friendship and YouTube, and let's talk about the joy of flying. In a biplane, it's, I mean, I would love to, honestly, I would love to own a little airplane like this uh, at some point in my future, because look how easy it is to land this thing. And uh, the airfield is a little bit on fire, but, I mean, so is my engine, because it's an Italian plane, so... Shouldn't be a problem, right? Come on, Mario, grab your wrench. Let's let's fix me up. So <laughs> I'm using the last of my machine gun ammunition to slow down my airplane, and then my rule of thumb is at 60 miles an hour, I'll pull left on the rudder and continue to apply the brakes so that I can stop rapidly without dipping the nose of my plane too badly. Uh, you might want to go a little bit more slowly before you pull that maneuver when you're landing a lighter weight airplane like a biplane. And uh, uh, Mario, come on, chop chop. R the wrench, Mario. Just the wrench. That's all it takes. Uh, r repair. Um, so I guess, I, I guess being on fire means that everybody took the day off. <laughs> Jeez, these employees, you know, they'll take a sick day for anything. Come on, Mario, you're just a little bit on... F it's only 70% burns. Anyway, I guess we'll have to go to the other airfield. <laughs> nice to have you guys along with me today. And what have we talked about so far? I mean, I could talk more about the plane, but the CR-42 is a biplane, and... I'm sort of demonstrating the right way to fly a biplane. You want to turn with the enemy and encourage him to turn with you. And at the rank where you find biplanes, they're going... And that, that's just a common thing that people do. But watch out. There's always a few experienced players in matches like this. Um, I'm here because I want to fly, fly a biplane and because I want to unlock rank 2 of the Italian aircraft tree but there are people who come here just to take a vacation and and pound some noobs so I mean obviously I'm not one of those people because my aim is like the the, the noodliest of spaghetti 
Like, you did, I didn't even strain the noodles. I just, I boiled them in the water, and then I, I, I threw some pasta sauce straight into the noodle water, and then I served that up. That's the soupy sloppy kind of aim that I'm showing for you today. So my maneuvers were okay, but, but my aim was pretty bad. So I'm, I, I, I'm serious. I'm not here to pound noobs. I, I'm, I just got lucky. <laughs> but there are people. There are dastardly people who fly the Hurricane um, Mark One, and uh, is that what it is? I think it is the Hurricane, the one that has like eight uh, 303 machine guns, which is just insane. Um, they will vickers you to death in an instant. Now they just shred to pieces the the biplanes that they sometimes face, but in an up tier, they have a little bit more of a hard time. We're going to face a hurricane in one of these clips, so you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but here we are landing on the airfield that's not on fire, and Maurizio is waiting with the wrench. And and uh, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. You see how <laughs> the plane gets a little bit weebly wobbly if you try and pull uh, a quick stop at 60 miles per hour so keep that in mind but we're fine and that was just a happy little wobble so the match is over we managed to get two air kills and pick up a few ground targets got a great score on that match but score isn't everything we got a decent amount of experience but uh, we are running a booster right now so that wouldn't have been quite so much in a regular match and I'm not running a premium account right now so that's a pretty good. You, you can see how in two or three matches you can just be done with biplanes, and that's kind of a shame because they can be pretty fun. Alright, I got a couple more matches to show you, and Tank Baby is currently taking a nap, so let's get this commentary underway. Um, what else can we talk about today? You know, sometimes it's good to go back to basics. To take the lessons that you've applied later on and go back to where you knew nothing and just see how things have changed. I remember throughout my experience learning things that really mattered to me, I spent uh, a good seven years studying really hard the martial arts and really dedicating myself to it. I. Uh, I skipped all of my my college courses except uh, except karate <laughs> and that class I just totally poured my devotion into and I would skip out on my other classes and watch anime or play Halo way back in the day Halo 1 on PC man that was incredible um, and I was paying for my own college so <laughs> that was my decision but uh, sometimes it's good to go back and revisit the the beginner's basics and that's something that I really haven't done very much in War Thunder I tend to and, and that's sort of the nature of the game you grind through the beginning vehicles really quickly and they're pretty easy to to be competitive at and then you're just done like that guy you would expect him to be done but we couldn't quite finish him off our teammate took him down the old swordfish I saw that the enemy team had four swordfish bombers, and I was like, you know what? We're probably going to win this one. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I am representing the Blah, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I can't talk. Back to the basics. So, in martial arts, it really is all about perfecting the basics. So, to put that in the perspective of War Thunder, Maybe come back to rank one every now and then. Not to stomp on people, but to take those beginner vehicles and really see how they teach you how to play the rest of the game. So what does Mark Holland's CR42 teach to a new player in War Thunder? Number one, learn. you have to learn how to use your guns. Now the CR42 has engine cowling, that's just the 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 protection around the engine is called the engine cowling it has engine cowling mounted machine guns so they're basically in line with the pilot's nose and 
That's convenient because it's easy for the pilot to aim from his perspective. Now you're going to be aiming from the third person perspective. So you have to learn where the guns actually go. And that's something I'm relearning here. You have to learn a little bit how to lead your targets, but aircraft are not flying at, you know, five, six hundred miles per hour here. They tend to be in the ballpark of one to three hundred miles per hour, so you don't have to lead quite so much. And in a biplane, you can really, because of your maneuverability and your good low speed performance, look at all this flak, like that is terrifying. Uh, because I know what flak does at, uh, well, to the BTD, for example. There's just something about the BTD one where it just seems to eat flak straight to the engine and get knocked out by it. Anyway, um, learning where your guns go, learning to lead your targets. That's something that you learn in these biplanes. And you have more of a chance to because you're moving at lower speeds and you can get in close to the enemy so you can really see where your bullets are going, how they're missing or hitting. Wasn't that a cool shot on that ground target? I still love uh, attacking ground targets. And that's another thing that you learn in the early tiers is how to engage ground targets, but unfortunately that's something that doesn't really carry on later in the game. And I think that may be just a way of feeding less experienced players some some score points and research and silver lines early on in the game. You don't have to go face um, enemy players. You can take out a few ground targets and still make progress in the game until you feel like taking on a more challenging opponent. But here I am, and even in top tier, I love when I have the opportunity to attack ground targets. I really am a tank player at heart, and I fly airplanes to learn how to support my ground forces. Uh, some of my other YouTuber acquaintances, friends even, you might say, but I have yet to really prove the strength of my friendship. But uh, Bacon Gaming I saw earlier today, he's a guy who seems more into aircraft. You know, he would be my my opposite counterpart. And here you see this uh, enemy. Is that a hurricane? Uh, one of those early monoplane fighters. He's made the mistake of first he did a little scissors to dump most of his energy. He came in with a lot of speed, but he pulled a little scissors and then he did some flat turning and now I'm getting some critical hits into his plane. He came in with a speed advantage and he lost all of it right away. So now we get some good hits and then shred his plane to pieces. So, oh, was that a French rondel? <clears throat> so what he did wrong there is he came zooming in, which is good. He got some shots on me, which is also good. But then he turned. So when you turn, and here I'm sort of explaining this to, as so I would explain to a newer player, somebody like um, the Savage Bros. <laughs> so if you're flying airplanes, this is advice for you, but um, when you turn, you lose speed. But if you pull up, then you gain altitude while losing speed. So you can pull up above your target after you fire some shots at them and then roll over and come down on top of them again. That's called a yo-yo. And that's what I did earlier in the last match. I mixed between a barrel roll, which is to, to roll your plane over and also come up. And then when I came up, I came down onto my enemy. And another piece of advice, if you're pulling what's called a yo-yo, where you come down on the enemy and then go back up again, down on the enemy and then back up again, don't go straight up and don't come straight down because it's difficult to aim. Or for one reason, your plane in the third person perspective will be in between you and the target. And also it's easier to miss. And uh, here you see we had no speed. Uh, those guys were experienced. The first guy came and baited me, and it was really clear that his wingman behind him was ready to pick up the kill. 
So I avoided the first guy and tried to avoid the second guy, but uh, I underestimated or I overestimated the amount of energy I had and that was it. So back to boom and zoom tactics. Here you see we're actually coming in at a fairly high speed and because we're in a biplane we don't want to go head on with the guy and instead of pulling around to come 180 to where the enemy is we pull up and then around and that maintains our energy so he bled a good amount of energy by turning and see here again instead of turning straight with him we pull up and then we look for him find him roll around that's called energy fighting so what you're doing is you're converting your airplane's speed into altitude and then you turn at a lower speed because you can turn a tighter loop at a lower speed and then you come back down on the enemy and line up the guns so there we have it I got some assistance from an ally not that I needed it and uh, here we're trying to pick up the kill that we started to get and that was probably a mistake we should have just let our ally take that one because we stayed on that enemy that enemy he must have been uh, a light bomber because he had a rear gunner we stayed on his tail for just a little bit too long and took a few hits into our engine and that's something you cannot afford to do because your engine is your life in this one so my engine is slowly dying and I've managed to pick up a kill and now I have to make the decision do I return to base or do I just stay in the fight and try and pick up whatever kills I can knowing that I'm going to get destroyed well personally I like to pretend that the life of my little virtual pixel pilot is valuable and I know it's very dangerous for me to stay in the area if my engine is not performing at the best of its ability and I know that's not the way to win matches but this is how I play the game um, Mark Cullen he must survive you know Italy needs him uh, but at the same time I look over my shoulder and I see that my friends my brothers my countrymen are in peril and uh, well you know maybe it's time for me to get back into the fight so unfortunately uh, historical accuracy is not 100 percent because I'm not able to switch sides halfway through the battle so this isn't a true Italian Air Force simulator <laughs> sorry had to had to fit that one in there um, but we decide to take on this Hampton because he's much faster than us so he would catch us anyway and he has some forward mounted guns so we pull around for a quick head on and that's not the best way to take on an enemy plane especially not a powerful airframe like the Hampton at this tier but what else can you do he would have caught me anyway here we lurk a little bit too long on his tail and take some more hits into the engine so that's, that's more bad news and he just zooms way way far away from us he is probably another one of those more experienced players come here to pad his stats as it were because he really seems like he's not interested in dying unlike that other airplane that we just shred to pieces but unfortunately he gets a few but why is it always the engine with you people <laughs> he gets a few more hits into my engine which totally kills us and we're just being swarmed at this point and there it is so that's the end for us today and I can't give you any more advice because I've sadly perished in the flames that's a toasty spaghetti <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching bye bye